I'm Sir TapTap, and let's check out Kleptocats. This is an idle game, a very idle game, for uh, Android and iOS. <laughs> and uh, it's a game where you have little cats, and they bring you wonderful gifts, like a dead mouse. Um, so when you get your cat, um, you get this little help, like happiness meter. You can either feed them or you can pet them. Petting them is adorable, but is unfortunately a little slower than feeding them. I usually just give them three treats and they should be at 100%. And then they go out and um, it can take between about 10 and 30 minutes and they'll be back and they'll have a new item. Um, so this room is pretty well furnished with a uh, random assortment of things. And uh, something I really like is the everything they grab has a little reference to it. Like, that's the Zelda shield, kind of. Um, there's a boo from Mario. Move that over there. There's sort of a blooper from Mario. That's right, Parker. How come you never steal me precious things? You just break my house. He is he is the opposite of a klepto cat. He, he is a net negative. You need to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, my friend. That's right. But yeah, um, so, and this is like, there's the DDR references. This isn't shaped like a heart. <laughs> Some hearthstone. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. This room I've gotten pretty well furnished. Um, let's see what, yeah, we've gotten about a third of the items for that room. So, when your cat brings back stuff, or when you watch ads or certain other stuff happens, you, um... You can get money, and you can trade in money for gems. It kind of, it's a pretty unnecessary um, two-currency system, because everything you can buy with money, you can, like, coins, you can buy gems, and, like, it just doesn't feel necessary. Like, let's go to the boutique, you can uh, put a little hat on him, a little scarf, a little sweater, a little... Uh, Stocking for his tail there. That's exactly where that goes. Wow, that, that thing is seven gems. That is very expensive for a clothing item. Why are the why are the torso ones so expensive? Uh, anyway, since um, there's actually a slightly better use for money, so I haven't really bought too many. Um, I haven't bought too many like clothing things. But um, what you can also buy with gems is new rooms. And in each new room, you have a different set of cats, a different set of items, and you can get items. I, I have no idea what that was. I was hoping I would get some good references. Okay, this is kind of the main loop of the game. You just, your cat gets a thing, you give him a nice treat, you send him back out, and then you usually, you know, you'll close the app for another, you know, half hour, hour, open it up whenever you want, you'll get new stuff, rinse and repeat. Like I said, very idle. There's not too much to do actively. You just get some stuff. Uh, it's got some standard F2P stuff. Um, Free-to-play stuff. It's got the daily... You know, you can play... You can watch an ad daily and get an extra big amount of coins. Um, yeah, there's some good references here. Like, that's... One of my favorite things is both the art style and just all the references in the game. Like, the One Punch Man was pretty good. This guy is OP, man. It works on so many levels. Two. Two levels. That's it's mini. It's, I don't I don't know what this one's supposed to be. It looks like acne, but like you know, like the the wily e. coyote thing, but I don't know. <laughs> and that's from a Day of the Tentacle. I, I don't know what that is. This thing. It's like a candle. I don't know. Well, in any game with a ton of references, there's gonna be some you don't get, it's alright. Um, you can buy new cats with gems. Um, the new rooms are pretty expensive, and since each one gets you a new cat, it, you know, it's very rewarding to have another room, plus it's a new set of items to get. So, I kind of don't want to spend anything on anything but getting new rooms. And so the progress in the game is kind of slow, and it does make me kind of... It, it's kind of funny, because I kind of wish this currencies were totally separate, because, like, 
I wish I could buy some things with, like, normal currency, so to speak, while also earning progress to the rooms, because it's just not worth it, in my opinion, to go anything cosmetic when you could be getting, you know, a new room, and, you know, getting all the new stuff, getting a new cat, you know, more progress, it's just... It just doesn't make sense. Um, but overall, it's a fun, cute little game. Uh, very idle, like I said. You're just gonna open it for like 30 seconds to a couple minutes every few hours. But, um, you know, it'll keep you entertained. If you, I think idle games are best if you have a couple of them at once. So you just poke in them, you know, while you're on your lunch break or whatever. Close out of it. Um... There's also a couple other things you can do, like a gold... What are you doing? Don't break my house! I'm recording a video and you're breaking my house! Sorry, Parker's just breaking my house. Um, sometimes, like, there'll be a golden uh, cat that you can tap a bunch of times to get some extra coins. Um, you can play these little mini-games. Uh, this first one isn't very good. You just, for every ten paw prints you get, you get a coin. Uh, sometimes, instead of a paw print, there'll be a coin, like, right there. Except it was right on my recording icon. Uh, but this one isn't very fun in my opinion. What did I do? Oh no, don't do the thing. Okay. I don't know what it, I don't know what it was doing there. Um, this one's a bit more fun. This one you feed this fat cat. And you gotta give him the high carb things. And they give you more points. So every 10 points once again gets you things. But it's a lot easier to get to 10 points. Like see, we already got a couple. So this one goes by a lot faster and is almost kind of fun. Um, it's not exactly Sushi Cat, but, um, you know, if you're just a few coins off and you want to, you know, derp around for a few minutes, here you go. It kind of makes me wish it were Sushi Cat. Which reminds me, I think Sushi Cat, yeah, Sushi Cat is on mobile. I, I do recommend, if, you, if you've never played Sushi Cat and you're looking for a mobile game, just search up Sushi Cat. It's kind of like Pachinko. But, like, n not as luck-based, and, like, there's no gambling. It's, like, it's real free. Um, well, I think it might have ads on mobile. But, yeah, uh, that's, that's another fun one. Very cat-related. Hold on, I need to get the golden fish. See, so, yeah, I got 14 coins there. Not, you know, the worst earning rate, but, uh... For the most part, you just want to wait for your fish, your, your cats. Get the thing. They usually give you about, I think, 50 coins when you get a thing. You can watch an ad for another 50 coins. Um, you can share a picture for 20 coins. You know, it's it's pretty simple, but it's very cute, and sometimes that's what you need. You got. I think this is a Harry Potter reference. I I'm assuming. I haven't. I've never read Harry Potter. Um, I like how he brings in a paw print. Like that's a thing. He's breaking my house again. Yeah, you are! Yeah! Anyway. That is Kleptocats. Like I said, there's not too much I can really show. It's just a, you know, it's a, it's a fun game for short little bursts. Um, I do like the cat, the cats. So, like, some of the cats are, whoa. <laughs> Never seen that before. So it glitched out, but, like, can I, there we go. <laughs> I like Freezer. Um, completely, definitely not a Dragon Ball Z character. Original character, Freezer. Wants to destroy the world and everything on it. Um, we also got Mittens and Clyde. Um, I'm not sure where that bugged out. Um, but yeah, there's Freezer on the floor. It's kind of, when you get the room full of things, it's kind of like a Where's Waldo. Where, you know, you try to find the cats. Like, there's Freezer. I know that's Mittens. Freezer is down here on the floor. So that's kind of neat. There, speaking of Where's Waldo, he's right over there. But yeah, there's tons of cute references. Like, um, I actually lost some of my progress. Um, there was a Binding of Isaac like doll like over in the corner there near, next to the balloon. Um, I don't think this game cloud saves. Um, I, I don't know. There's also this fun little secret... Um, as you progress, you can find, like, on the, on the, there's, like, a word that'll be spelled out here on the, uh, fridge, along with the dead rat. And, uh, you can enter them into the safe, and you get a little secret. It doesn't earn you anything, like, practical, but it, it was a fun little meta thing. I, I forget how I did it, but there was some, like, 
link to achievements or something that I did, and I think that actually finally synced me to Google Play, and I don't know if that's what you have to do to actually get the cloud save to work, or if this game just doesn't have cloud save. I, I really don't like it when mobile games don't have cloud save, because, like, if I get a new phone, I don't want to have to lose everything that I did in my old games. Especially not in an idle game, because, you know, those take forever. But, uh, I don't know. But yeah, this is Kleptocats. It is very cute.